Hotel, my brothers and sisters. This is Prince Khalifa. I give honor to my Creator and to my ancestors by virtue of this message. Guide and direct my voice so that those who hear will listen. We are changed psychologically and economically. Bounded by shame and guilt, we have fed all others on the breast of our mother's milk. While ours have grown up malnutrition and loss. We must eat our culture, our history, and our traditions, for they lead us, guide us, and bind us to freedom. Africans, mighty ones, we were created by God to be supermen and women. We were made into mortals by our captors. We are becoming again what God intended us to be. Africans, geniuses, gods of the earth, in sync with the universe. beginning of time, Africans have been doing the impossible, using mind over matter, spirit over mind, tapping into the divine, so that now is the time for this day in mind, to discuss our rise, which will free all African minds, allowing the divine to shine, the divine to shine, the divine to shine. Study my culture, my history, and my land. Because I know that in order to overcome my enemies outside, I must overcome let's the one that decides on the inside. But how can let's I see it, to help my it, sisters and brothers be free? I can't see for my own inner enemy. Physician, heal thyself. Heal thyself. Heal thyself. What a week. Oh, it's time to Grab drink. Grab the glasses, family. It's time, time, time to, play. No time to play. I'm so excited. Sitting up here. Kid magic. Kid magic rock. Shots out. Here we go.
drink your water Come on, come on, drink your water But first, take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Take your breath and drink some water Take your breath Drink, 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 drink Or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink Take a breath, take your breath Now, grab your glass for some water Grab your glass Lift your picture of that water Or a bottle Get that picture of that water uh-huh. Simply pour some water Drink, 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 drink Or should water. I say, lift, pour, then drink Now move your body and drink some water Move your body Move your body and drink some water Move your body Move your body and drink some water Bang Just Just move move your your body body. Drink, 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 drink Drink your water Or should I say Move, move, then drink Move your body Move your body Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors Raise your glass and toast your ancestors Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, raise, toast, then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water Move it Raise your glass and toast your ancestors Breathe, lift, move, toast But remember to stay healthy, remember The four pillars Breathe, drink, eat, move Drink half your weight in ounces Eat a culturally appropriate diet Behave Take your breath Come on Take your breath Drink your water Drink your water, drink your water. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour You can do it Move your body, come on, come on. Toast your ancestors, drink up. Come on, drink it, drink it, drink it. Come on, you do it, come on, drink it, lift it, drink it, come on. Drink that health in. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Take your breath. Take your breath, take your breath. Lift and pour. Move your body, come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift it, pour. Come on, pour it. Move your body. Come on. Move. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Family, family, family. It is so good to be standing in the congregation of the mighty. In the home of the stubborn minority, in a place where your hustle builds muscles. This is Giami Journey Media. I am your host for the hot Of course, you know that this is a heart of a summer production all day, air day. We want to give all of the Kooji Chagalia babies, including myself, because I am a Kooji baby. Gina is a Kooji baby, right? Full of oh, full of coogee, coogee babies, run it! But anyway, giving all the coogee babies a round of applause. <laughs> y'all can do better. Spirit, y'all, this better. Get. Spirit, y'all, this right here. 
lollygag. And of course, you know, we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. Oh, I ain't got no time for the Duke family. Ain't got, I ain't got a lot of time. I'm running, just, I'm running late. Actually, I'm early for what I was doing prior to last week. But now that I have a new assignment, I have to go on and get things done quickly. So anime, without any further ado, can you hit us up with a little something, please? Here we go, here we go. It's the proper proper time, proper time. Oh man, do I got a proper Thank you, Cap. I need you to get out your Nguza Saba challenge uh, notebook, your journal, your self-mastery journal so that you can go on and get this one. Listen, until the old moon disappears completely, the new, man, the new moon cannot come. I want you to think about that one and tell me what does it mean to you? Listen, I want y'all to think about it. I'm going to plug that one in into our discussion. But, yo, it's a writing prompt, so make sure you get it down. Let me read it to you slowly so that you can get it for the day. You ready? Until the moon. Until the old moon disappears. Oh, that's why I got to carry that one. Disappears completely. The new moon cannot come. Wow. I know some of y'all like, well, what that mean? Moons and all that. <laughs> scary. He talks some scary stuff, Ma. <laughs> I want y'all to think about it. Now, I forgot to tell y'all today, subject is very quickly, four simple steps to becoming dedicated in life. Four simple steps to becoming dedicated in life. Many of us running around here not dedicated. I'm going to tell you why I got that, why, where I got that one from on this Koozie Chagalia. But first, anime, baby, if you could, could you, could you, could you please introduce the next segment? Please. Folk tale time. Oh, folk tale time. Folk tale time. Here we go. Real quick one today. This is called the hares and the lions. Get ready. It's quick. The hares harangued the assembly and argued that all should be equal. The lions made the reply, "Your words, O oh hares, are good, but they lack both claws and teeth, such as we." Damn. Get the message. Folk tales. I'm into a folk tale. Folk tales. Folk tales. Folk tales. Too quick. Folk tales. Too quick. Too quick. Brother High Tim. Too quick. Now, now, let's move and let's get straight, straight into the show. So, anime, baby, if you could, could you set me up? Could you set me up, please? I'm ready. I'm ready to get this thing on the road. I'm ready to get it moving. You gonna, you gonna blow? Ah, the way blew the horn. All right, she blew the horn. Here we go. She blew the horn. Okay, and also, can I get my theme music, please? Thinking all the time. Thinking all the time. I'm thinking all the time. And I hope you're thinking all the time too, rather than just reacting. You got to be proactive. You got to be thinking. What's your plans? What's your strategies in life? All right, let's get. Got my rat clock going. It's, nobody told me I was missing my rain. Y'all don't be, man. Y'all, nobody paying attention. That's cool. Don't pay attention. But here we go. So we're going to talk about four, repeat four simple steps to become dedicated to life. So I woke up this morning. I'm like, what are we going to do, Hot Tim? Um, 
You know what I'm saying? Because now, I was I've been listening to a book by Octavia Butler called Wild Seed, and I think I'm about to hold my tongue. But she had a very, well, I ain't go home. She had a very strange, excellent writer, great books that I have read so far. She has a thing for white boys. I, you know, I, I know it's a lot of Octavia Butler fans out there. It's cool, but I'm just saying. I, I'm picking up a little, little thing there. But it's, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But anyway, so coming from the Warriors Handbook for Life journey, I said, all right, cool. Then review what Kuzi Shackley is, and maybe I need to go on and throw in this segment a review of each principle. And but this one, the reason I got it is Coochie Chagalia. Numbers two and eight, color indigo, or you know, we use dark blue. Element is earth. The day, of course, is today. Chakra is the third eye that falls on this. You know what I'm saying? Chakra, right about there. And it starts off Kwanzaa's time for us to rededicate ourselves, reconnect it to what is true within us. Dedicate, rededicate ourselves, rededicate ourselves. I said, cool. I could, I'm on, I, I, I know I didn't even get into the Kooji Chaglia, but rededicate was the thing that caught my attention. So I said, hey, I want to talk about rededicating. Or not just even rededicate. I want to talk about the concept of dedication. Why do I want to talk about the concept of, of, of dedication? Because dealing with young people, right, as well as dealing with some older folk, some older of us, you know what I'm saying? Many of us have not found what we are dedicated to. Many of us have not found our lure to mastery. And it's important that we start trying to push our children or nudge them in the direction of their mastery, their lure to mastery, the thing that they are going to dedicate themselves to. So I wanted to look at the idea of dedication. I wanted to play with it just a little bit. Kind of tease it out on this Kuji Chaglia. So here we go. Dedication is a defining feature. The basis of what you serve. What do you serve, family? What are you... Because the key question that first came to me is, what are you dedicated to? Dedication. Because now, this is another reason. Dedication helps define who you are. And what does Coogee Chaglia do? Self-determination, right? Part of it is your ability to define yourself for yourself. But you tell the world what you're dedicated. To. You tell the world who you are about what you're dedicated to. So the question is, family, what are you dedicating your life to? What are you dedicated to? What are you building? You know what I'm saying? What are you serving? What are you willing to lay your life down for? What are you willing to live your life for? Dedication is not just a word. It's an action. When I dedicate myself, I am dedicating myself not just with the words, but with the things that I do. I'm dedicated to building up Giamme. I'm dedicating into improving the philosophy and pushing the envelope as far as growth. I'm dedicated to creating the media landscape in which Giamme operates, the, the, the media battlefield. I'm, I, I'm, 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 I, I'm, I'm dedicated to create. I'm dedicated to getting up and doing these shows. I'm dedicated to, to promoting the Guza Saba Challenge. I'm dedicated to promoting our gear. I'm dedicated towards Yame. And it goes beyond just me talking about it. It's about me doing it. Because I get up and I get up and I'm writing. This morning I was up writing a four. This morning. So that I could go do my, do, um, get to my adventure. I'm dedicated to serving my community. I'm dedicated to serving and 
protecting and, and taking care of my family. I'm dedicated. These things define me because the world can see what I say, but they, I mean, they can hear what I say, but they see what I do. And what I'm dedicated to defines me. But a lot of people lack dedication to anything. And what does that say about them? What does that say about where they come from? What does that say about their family? Being young, you're supposed to be searching. But it's a goddamn shame when you get into your 30s and you have not dedicated yourself to anything, including your own seeds. I take a sip on that. I take a sip on that. On my fault. Warning. Warrior in training. Y'all ain't ready for me. Dedication goes beyond just saying something. It's repeated actions which builds upon itself. It's dedication that has made the world what it is today. People being dedicated to what it is they believe in. People being dedicated. It was dedication that pushed Christianity to where it is right now. I know some of y'all gonna say it was something. No, it was dedication to the belief. It was dedication that pushed Islam into the world. It's dedication that built up Western civilization. It's dedication to the ideas of white supremacy that has everybody, everybody else stumbling around and confused. Dedication. So the question that we have to wrestle with as a tribe, the, the question that we got to wrestle with as a people, the question we got to wrestle with as a village, the question we got to wrestle with as a people is what are we dedicated to? But that all comes back down to what you are dedicated to. Please understand, because as, as I always say, my elder, my, my big brother, our Chief Albina told me, hey, you are, you are no higher than a blade of grass and no lower than its roots in the eyes of the Creator, my brother. You're important and unimportant at the exact same time. Your little bit does matter. The little thing that you do does matter. So the question is, what are you going to dedicate your time to? What are you going to dedicate your ashe or your life energy to? What are you going to dedicate your thoughts to? What are you going to dedicate your emotions to? Those five parts of being. Those five parts of being are so important. What are you going to dedicate your... What are you dedicating your, your intuition to? Is it trying to find the next bag of weed? The next drink? The next pill? The next rim? The next baller? The next faller? What is your mental dedicated to? What is your mind dedicated to? What is it creating? Is it creating new things in which, and new places in which you could live? Or is it, you know, is it dedicated to maintaining, surviving in a hovel? What are your emotions dedicated to? What are you dedicating your emotions to? What are you dedicating your spirit to? What are you dedicating your body to? It's an action. It's a, it's, it's a verb. Right? Come on now. Y'all playing with me. Y'all playing with me. The key to success in business, life, dedication. You must be dedicated to success if you want it badly enough. Otherwise, don't expect much because without dedication, there will always be some excuse for not achieving anything worthwhile, which could have been done easily if only someone had put their minds toward it. Towards, check that. Check this out. I just wanted to. I wanted to make sure I got got some Jami speaking there. Hold on. Here we go. Not achieving anything worthwhile, which could have been done easily only if only someone had put their mind towards making it happen. <laughs> Instead of waiting around, making it happen. But here are the questions. Writing prompts. Get, come on, get it together. Come on, come on, get your pen. Get your pen. Do I need to create Giami pens? Right? So we got, you know what I'm saying? 
We even writing with Giamme. We writing on Giamme. We writing in Giamme. What do you dedicate your life to? I kind of asked those questions earlier, didn't I? What does dedication mean to you? What or who has been the biggest influence on your life? Because usually it was somebody that was dedicated to something that catches your attention. What is the most dedicated thing you have ever done for your job, for your tribe, for your business, for your family? And to end this up and to bring it up into the four steps that I promised, dedication is not a choice. It's a trait. It's not something that everyone has. It's earned through repeated actions. What does that sound like? That sounds like the best life is achieved with the engagement of systematic processes. Damn. Keep coming back. See, when you lay down the foundations and you start really thinking about your life and you start finding those patterns and then you start looking at the wisdom of the elders and shit start repeating itself over and over and over and over again. Family, please, please, write it down. Listen, the best life is achieved through engagement with systematic processes. You know what that requires? That requires dedication. Power is achieved through the engagement with systematic processes. Wealth is achieved through the engagement with systematic processes. Happiness is achieved through engagement with systematic processes, but all the opposites are true as well. And every family, whether you're successful or you are a failure, in some form or fashion, you have to step back and evaluate what systematic processes are you dedicated to in your life. <laughs> Y'all, see, but hey, hey, you don't get it now, you can pay me later. I'm just saying, you don't get it now, you can pay me later. Because I'm telling y'all, it's going to be about three, it's going to be, as, as, as the street boys, it's going to be about three rats. Because I ain't playing. After I put, the, put together this 21-week training and I start pulling on my experts, I start pulling on my self-mastery coaches to get invested in it. Because I'm, listen, we gonna change some lives. But anyway, although there will be pivotal moments which define the person you are today, dedication is about going beyond yourself. For those of, for those you love, for those you care about, and for those who need help, dedication is an act of living a life worth living. It's not giving in and serving a system that does not serve you. Carry out the practice of dedication. The following, um, I, I messed up. Uh, that's a typo. In and serving a system that is not dedicated to you. Here are some ways to carry out the practice of dedication. The following must be internalized. Understand that what you dedicate yourself to defines your life. What you dedicate yourself to defines, we said that earlier, but I want to make sure that's one of those crucial four. Becoming dedicated, understanding that what you dedicate yourself to, you define, will define your life. Number two, it's a calling, an action, a devotion to something greater than yourself. You got to learn how to listen. Listen, vocation. You know what I'm saying? It's a calling, vocal. It, it, it's a call on your life. You have to learn how to listen with your whole being. Some of y'all waiting for God to speak to you through your ears. Some It's not like that sometimes. You have to hear. But it's beyond just the ear. It's a calling, an act of devotion to something greater than yourself. So you have to hear your call, and you have to devote yourself to it. You have to dedicate yourself to it, and realize that it's bigger than you. It's bigger than yourself. So 
It's not a call. It's not a vocation. And it's not worthy of being dedicated to or being devoted to if it's not bigger than yourself. That's where a lot of us go wrong. We think it's about serving us when it's about serving others, building others up. What value can you bring to other people's life? Three, it is a repeated, it is repeated action which builds upon itself. What systematic processes are you engaged with regularly? For dedication has made the world what it is today. So now, if we if we ingrain these things, becoming more dedicated, we understand that once we find our dedication, it was only it's only dedication that has changed the world. And if you want to change the world, if you want to change your life, you have to become dedicated. You got you got dedi it's dedication causes that crackheads are dedicated alcoholics are dedicated weed heads are dedicated they get what they want so if they could get that crack and have no job if they could get their hair on and have no job if they could if they could push through all that what's stopping you because they dedicated to getting it are you dedicating to getting your success? Are you dedicated to getting your happiness? Are you dedicating to get your degree? Are you dedicated to starting your business? Are you dedicated? It's the question. Anime, did I do it, baby? Did I do it? Anime said I did it. Anime said I did it. So, um, if you could, baby, could you, um, could you play my theme music, please? And as I say, man, y'all was supposed to be gone. I am so sorry. I did not mean to hold y'all that whole time. I did not mean to hold y'all that whole time. Y'all got all that for me. All that for me. Got all that juice. I gave y'all all that juice, but it ain't clear. Do y'all all of it. Anyway, I got to remember. So I'm going to start putting it on here even though it's going to slow down my system. I got to give me an... I, I, I'm, y'all going to... We going to... Like I said, once we bring out the 21-day course, I'm going to upgrade. I got to upgrade my computers. I got to get the latest chips so I can do 50 things at once. But anyway, um, so I'm going to step away for a second. And... Uh, Y'all go on and listen to the pledge, and we will be back. Minute by minute, minute by minute, hour by hour, hour by hour, you lose your history, you lose your, history, you lose your power, you lose your power. Minute by minute, minute by minute, hour by hour, hour by hour, you lose your faith, you lose your faith, you lose your faith, you lose your faith, you lose your power, you lose your power, you lose your power. You lose your faith, you lose your faith, you lose your power, you lose your power. If it is to be, if it is to be, it's up to me. It's up to me. I feel good about myself. I feel good about myself. I feel good about the people around me. I feel good about the people around me. I feel goodness all around me. I feel goodness all around me. And it will follow me for the rest of my life. And it will follow me for the rest of my life. Cause I walk with good. Cause I walk with good. And I talk with good. And I talk with good. And I Let it rest. Never let it rest. Until your good is your better. Until your good is your better. And your better is your best. And your better is your best. Black people. Black people. You were once great. You were once great. You shall be great again. You shall be great again. Lose not faith. Lose not faith. Lose not courage. Lose not courage. Go forward. Go forward. Uplift the race. Uplift the race. Call on the ancestors and the creator to watch over us as we do this African pledge. I pledge allegiance to my people. 
conquer mine. I'm praying that you will conquer yours. You know what I'm saying? You make it happen. Don't let it happen to you. You understand what I'm saying? Don't let it happen to you. Make it happen. Make it happen. All right. Um, Just checking to see if I got any messages real quick. All right, family, if you could, grab your glass. Grab your glass. All right. Lifting up our glass to the creator by whatever name you choose. Call that creator. We lift up our glass. We salute that creator. And we say the word of power, at least in these parts. We say, I say. We lift up our glass to all of our personal ancestors. What we do on a daily basis here at Gianni Journey. You can join us every morning at 5.45 a.m. We are up. We are toasting the ancestors on a regular basis. Saluting them. Um, so we're going to lift up our glass. In order to do that, you need to get on our email list. You get on our email list by going to gnj.media or you can go to giamijourney.com and get on our email list and you will have direct access to us as well as receive a daily email with information about the, 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 the moment, the day toast, as well as some good thinking material, some writing prompts, especially for those of you that are on the Nguza Saba Challenge. Get some more information about the Goose Saba Challenge as well as the 224 self help process. All that is coming in our coming course. We lift up our glass, we lift up our glass to our personal ancestors, and we say, I say, man, lifting up our glass, family, and we move it into the present moment. We are in the present moment, Kuji Chak Lee, and as I ask you every day, I ask you to open up your reticular formation. Seek out this principle, seek out Kuji Chak Lee, talk about Kuji Chak Lee, share Kuji Chak Lee. Build upon Kuji Chak Lee and understand that in this moment, we have power. In this moment, you have power. You get to make choices. And in those choices, family, those small choices that you think that nobody sees, that you think are not important, the small choices it is what builds up to a great life. It's the small choices that build, that build the road to success. Now the question is, or that can build the road, are you, are you making the right choice? Are you taking advantage of your moment or are you wasting them, waiting for some magic to happen rather than being the magic that happened? Don't wait for the magic, be the magic. We lift up our glass in this moment, right? And we, you know, for those that don't speak the language, Kuji Chagalia, the closer we come to it is self-determination in English. Myotic principle today is justice. Color is indigo, also known as dark blue. You can also support Giami Journey by going to merch.gnj.media and getting your, you get your day toast, you know, get your day born shirt, you get your daily toaster shirt, you get your two black shirt, or you can get your Kwanzaa 365 shirt and support what Giami is doing. Correspondence is the hermetic law or the hermetic principle. Let me change that. Hermetic principle. Male name is Kwabana. Female name is Abina. We lift up our 
we lift up our glass and we salute this moment and we say ashe Our children, our children, children, on to infinity. We toast them in advance and we say, Ashe. We family, we want to toast to all of those who are in need of that balanced healing energy. We lift up our glass and we salute. Come on now, lift it up. I'm lifting it up. I'm lifting it up. So we're going to call on some names. We got Brother Quasi Lowe, who um, just finished his treatment for um, cancer. You know what I'm saying? we lifting them up, celebrating them. We're um, lifting up Elder Tony West, who is doing a lot better now um, and moving around a little bit more, right? And last but not least, we see we, we're lifting up um, Elder Debbie Bowie, we're lifting her up, salute, and we say, I say. Now, for those that want to put people on the, the wellness list, on where we send out that healing energy, that healing energy, that balanced healing energy list. You do it the same way you put your ancestors on. Once you get on our email list and accept that you're going to accept, um, you accept the fact that the emails are coming, you let them know, yeah, yeah, boom, you want it from, you know, you can correspond with us. You can talk to us about who you want to put on any of our lists or you can have discussions about any ideas that we bring up. You know what I'm saying? Also, you can discuss about bringing some of our trainings or helping you build your tribe, all that stuff. All right, so we lift up our glass, right? And we say, Ashe. We started with the creator, we end with the creator. We say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Family, I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. I'm going to sit back, sip on some of this mixture, this old and this new ambrosia. And we're going to kick it. You know, I'm kicking back. Y'all have a great day. Have a great day. Where we at? Oh, I know what we do. Anime! Won't you on the wheels of steel? Keep it basic, keep it basic this morning. Keeping it basic, because we gotta get out of here. I hope that wasn't on the whole time, because that means. Mama Margarita, shouts out to Mama Margarita. <laughs> Mr. Diddy.